All right, class, this is number 43, page 297. I'm going to try and explain this one. It's a pretty difficult concept problem, but uh, I, think we can, I think we can do it here. So sine of an angle is one-half. They don't tell us what the angle is. So we're left to kind of take a guess. Well, if we look on our sheet, and this is, this is just one way to do this problem. If we look on our sheet... Where is, uh, when is sine equal to one half? Well, it looks like it happens here at 30 degrees and again at 150 degrees. All right, well, let's see if that can help us with this problem. So 30 degrees and 150. So if I draw this circle, 30 degrees would be right about here. Uh, and 150 would be right about here. So this is 30 degrees. This is 150. So this is an angle. And I hope you can see that these are the only two possible times that y, right, our sine is our y value, that y can be 1 half. Okay? Here's a 1 half coordinate system. This spot and this spot are the only two times on this circle that we can have a y value of one half. All right. So how does that help us do part A? Well, part A says, all right, now that you know that sine of the angle is one half, what is sine of negative that angle? All right. Again, we don't know if it's 30 or 150, but now it's saying uh, what would happen to the sine value if you went in the opposite direction, these same angles? Okay, so, uh, well, if this, is po is, if this has a y value here, I'll put it in a different color. If this has a y value here of one half, okay, and this has a y value here of one half, okay, what would happen if instead of going to positive 30 degrees, I went negative 30 degrees because that's what it's asking well if I went to negative 30 degrees the only thing that's going to change to my y value is it's going to turn to negative okay so in this case if this angle was 30 degrees and I changed it to negative 30 degrees my y value would go from one half to negative one half all right, well, that works for this. That, that's what happens in this case. What happens if our angle was 150? Okay, so if I go positive distance, 150. Try a different color here. Uh, we'll go black. Okay, if I go to positive distance, 150, I get to here. But now it's saying, well, what would happen if you went to negative 150? I'd get to about right here. Okay, and you're going to notice that these two are going to mirror each other. So if I, if I go positive 150, I'm here. If I go negative 150, I'm here. And my y value would now change to negative 1 half also, just like it did over here. Okay? So when we started this problem, we didn't know if it was positive 30 degrees or, negative, or positive 150 degrees. Didn't matter. Both of them had the same 1 half value, right? Now... We're switching this problem by saying, okay, well, what happens if I change either of these angles negative? Well, in both cases, if you change 30 to negative 30, you go from 1 half to negative 1 half. If our original angle was 150, change it to negative 150, which would be right here. Whoops. Our value still would change to negative 1 half. So long story short, if... Your t changes to a negative t. For sine, you go from positive to negative. That's part A. Part B, cosecant of negative t. Well, first let's figure out the cosecant of positive t. Sine of t is one half. If we remember, cosecant is the reciprocal. Well, if sine 
goes to negative one half here, right? When I go to a negative angle, this must go to negative two, right? Because the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, so negative one half will change to negative two. I hope this helps. This is a pretty difficult concept. If you still have questions, please ask.